that's pretty gnarly. Oh, Grisa. All right, so with this water lane, we want to stick a bit closer to the shoreline. That way? <laughs> yep. <laughs> there is a bit of glass around, which is pretty exciting. G'day everyone uh, and welcome. My name's Dan Bolton, uh, aka That Mallard Guy. I'm here with uh, Trent Robinson today. He's uh, Head of Operations up here at Darwin Flight Training. He's also a flight examiner and uh, the host of the ever popular Flight Training Australia podcast, which is very informative. But today, he's out here for his second lesson in the Lake Buccaneer, the beautiful uh, flying boat behind me here for his floating hull endorsement training. Trent, uh, welcome, mate. Excited Thanks, mate. about today's uh, today's yeah, lesson. Yeah, mate, I'm pumped. Yeah, yep. look, it's been a while since the first one, so yep. sick of watching you have all the fun. So I'm keen <laughs> to get back into it. Yeah. And what got you? Like, why did you actually want to do your floating hull endorsement? Oh, look, it's something I've always wanted to do. Yep. Um, coming from Perth, very limited opportunity. There was mm -hmm. a few uh, caravans around and 206s, and uh, some stunning out Coburn Sound and on the Swan River. They just started getting going before I left. Yeah. And always something I wanted to do, but there was just never an opportunity, odd opportunity yeah. And, and yeah, job prospects for me wasn't really something I could do, but okay. just for the experience yep. and the skill set, it's just always something I wanted to do. So awesome, mate. here we are. Yeah, yeah perfect. Uh, first lesson we did, as you mentioned there, a few weeks ago, uh, we covered kind of general handling in the Buccaneer. We looked at um, some land circuits and then we went off to the water and did your first water landing. Mm. What was that experience like? Oh, mate, it was surreal. Like just seeing the windscreen full of water and just feeling <laughs> completely at peace with it. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. Um, something, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting, but no, it just, it was magic. Good so, stuff. So yeah, just, just that first touchdown and um, yeah, just, it was awesome. Yeah, I just, awesome. biggest grin. Yeah. So we're going to uh, go off and do um, a pre-flight briefing for our lesson today. And, yep. uh, and then we're going to head out and do a fair bit of water work today, which is going to yep. be good. Beautiful conditions up here in Darwin, light wind. So hopefully you might see a bit of glass out in the rivers. Um, yeah, hopefully get a beaching done. So it's going to be a good fun morning. So yeah. uh, we'll head off and do the briefing. We'll see you guys in the cockpit. All right, let's go. I'm Trent, by the way, uh, oh. you're on the other side this time, mate. Yeah. <laughs> MKT traffic, leave me in the phone calls, rolling 25, departure to southwest MKT. Pressures are in the green. SP. 50 knots. From my way here. Gear up. Gears up, flaps up, pump cycle complete. Alright Trent, so we're here already at the water operating area, middle arm. Um, there is a bit of glass around which is pretty exciting, so we'll get to see that. But because uh, I want to kind of get you back into the feel of things, we're going to go over to a spot where it's not glassy. Um, and we'll get you just to do a normal uh, water landing for us. All right. Uh, so what are some things that you're looking out for when we go into a water landing location? Um, yep, so we've got, a nice, we've got a nice long stretch here. So we've got plenty of room. Uh, there's no boats, terrain, obstacles, power lines, that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, from this view, it looks fairly obstacle free and we've been here before, so we know that it's uh, fairly safe from that perspective. Yeah, we've checked the tide, obviously. We know it's a huge tide, so... Oh, it's with the Hotel, Rockford 44. Shall we come in airborne from the Halifax Halifax? We'll be entering a rolling runway 25, departing to south four, and then on to Daly River Valley, not above 1,000 feet, MKT traffic. All right, so we're going to go land on the water, and uh, it's going to be a water landing, so it's a gear up water landing. We've got the blue indicator, the gear lever is in the up position, and verified in the mirror, and no visuals behind me. Mixture's rich, fuel is on. Instruments are all set. Bring the power back a bit. Harnesses, we're all secure. Yep. And water rudder is stowed. Uh, clear right, center, left. 
as mentioned, we'll make this a full stop. Yeah, so just to refresh that again quickly, so we're going to touch down. Once we're settled on the water, we're going to bring the power back, and as we start to ease down, then we'll gradually be easing forward on the stick. Yep, just keeping the attitude set the whole time, and flaps can come up after you touch. And we can take water. flaps now. Flaps down, there's the pitch. So I can see there's a bit of a smooth area to the left, a bit of rough on the right, otherwise looking good. Coming back to 65. Uh, pitch is fine, undercarriage is up, verified. Flaps uh, down, water rudder is stowed. Verge crossing, checked. Do a stop on the water. What things are we going to think about? Uh, so, water runner, if we're going to use it, do you yep. want that out? Yeah, we'll get that out just as a habit to make sure we always remember it. Okay, water runner is out. Yeah, one thing with this light, very light winds is you may not feel that the water runner's up, left up. Yeah, true. So, you'll only find that it's actually up when you go to do a docking or you know when you actually need it uh, because you should still be able to do a full 360 with the water runner up in, yeah. this, in this wind. Cool. All right, nice work. So, let's do a, a full takeoff from here. And then we'll head over to that glassy patch and we'll look at a glassy water landing. And then we'll head across to uh, Tapana to for uh, some beaching. So, pre take up briefs. <coughs> so, flaps down. So, flaps start with up. Oh, sorry, flaps, flaps yep. up. And then, yeah, that's right, up. As soon as we get that full full nose rise and it stops, yeah, cool. yeah then we flaps down. Uh, fuel pump is on water rudder. But direction is looking good. Water yep. rudder stowed. We're all secure. Everything's clear. Okay. Yeah, and then arc, so arc power is that little acronym we use, so area's clear, runners are up, control column back, and yep. then power. Alright, here we go. And flaps now, that's that nose rise. Tips pressures. Speed. Right, climbs up to 500, and uh, we'll go have a look at this glassy water landing area and uh, make a plan for that. Beautiful. Lovely morning. Yeah, full power, just as it starts to grab, then the flap, yep. Yeah, so, yep, and then you just, you try to push the nose over a little bit there as well, and yeah. that started to cause that bounce, yeah. but you corrected it perfectly with just a bit of um, pull back pressure on the stick. Look at that glass there. Yeah, no, I saw it on the way in. Southport traffic, Lake Buccaneer, Lima, Uniform, Golf, this, uh, Three miles south of port for uh, water work in the uh, river area, not above 1,000. All right, so we'll join it downwind and we'll come back down this main stretch of river here and we'll just land in a glassy patch, okay? Gotcha. Okay, so water landing, I'm going to be landing on this water off to our left. We've got gear indicating up, blue light, handle in the opposition. Mirror is clear and no main gear at my left. Um, mixture is... Rich and locked. Bill is on, indicating. Got plenty. Instruments are set, switches uh, on, fuel pump is on, lights on. 
harness is secure and the water rudder is stowed. Now we can take full flat. One, two. Clear right. Clear centre. Clear left. Alright, so with this water lane we want to stick a bit closer to the shoreline so we've got good visual reference. And we want to set up our, our 150 feet a minute descent rate. The okay, pitch is fine. Undercarriage is confirmed up. All flaps indicated, water rudder is stowed. Trip. So we'll other... go just beyond that ripple area on the yep, right. Yep, sounds good. And the other two parameters are airspeed and attitude. Yeah. As you can see in the middle here, we just have no idea of our height. Yeah. 60 knots. Yep, range of sense just slightly higher. Yep, that's all looking pretty good. Maybe just rate of descent needs to be captured a little bit there. As soon as we touch power back. Attitude and flaps. Nice one. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gnarly. And I mean, in that example, you could even, if you're in a bigger area, one that's not so narrow with the, with the trees aligning the river here, you'd actually tuck right in and be, you know, a couple of wingspans away from, from those trees just to get better visual reference. Yeah, okay. That was good. Let's turn around the other way and uh, take off back in the other direction. All clear? Yep. <laughs> Backtracking there, runway. Don't forget, in it, even though we've just landed on glassy water, it's, the, the kind of threats aren't over here. So when we take off in glassy water, we don't ever want to. Well, we want to make sure we have a, a positive rate of climb after yeah, no, take off. No low levels. And yeah, because we want to make sure we're actually climbing away from the glass. Roger that. But we have actually broken the glass now. One of the combat techniques of, of glassy water is uh, you know, breaking the glass with the aeroplane. Yeah. Well, let's. We'll just continue taxing this way a little bit, so we do get in, into a nice glassy area for the um, lake of training. Alright, so just do this takeoff again, so nose comes up, highest point, get those flaps out straight away, yep. and then just release rather than push the nose forward. Yeah, that's amazing. That was absolutely complete glass, so I can fully appreciate that. Yeah. And like I, like I said in the briefs, you know, it does take up a huge amount of distance, so the the lower you can get with a with a confirmation of how high you are, better, the, yeah. the better it is for distance control. Um, so you really could just set this up at almost you know, 10, 20 feet, uh, with, with you know right up close to the trees there. Yeah. Okay. Clear ahead. Okay. Full power flap. Go. Fish. Big full back. Slightly nose up. Lift the nose. Sticky water. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely felt different. It took a lot longer. Yeah. All right, Trent, we're getting to uh, Rankin Point here where we're going to have a look at our beaching. Uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, some of the things we need to consider for we arrive to a beach after a water landing. 
Um, yeah, so once we're down, just want to have a look at any obstacles. Uh, so we've got a boat, there's a few buoys there, any uh, reef or yep. possible underwater obstacles. We've obviously got a lot of mangrove around. Yep. So uh, just checking the approach, and we can probably best do that from the air. Yep. We won't see it otherwise. So you can just see, here's a good example here. We've got glassy water along the edge of the, giving us a bit of a wind direction. The boat's pointing in the other direction because of the tide. The tide's running in. So it's actually against the wind there. But yeah, so you're going to pick landing kind of along this shoreline here? Yep. Um, and, and then, then, once, we, and then uh, basically once we're coming up, we're going to be able to get out of the boat quickly if we need to, so the aircraft. So uh, Triple H, headsets, uh, harnesses and hatches are open, yep. ready to go. And we'll put the little uh, Dubalaki in to hold that open so it doesn't drop on our head. Cool. Right, well, no, you can set her up and we'll... Alright, no worries. worries. Okay. A, little bit, a little bit bumpier than the glassy waters we've been doing. Yeah, so we're going to land back this way along the, uh, the water's edge. Yep. Our brakes off undercarriage is up, position blue for water landing, so we're going to be landing over there. Blue's up for water landing, nothing in the mirror and no externals. Uh, mixture is identified and rich fuel is on, sufficient. And fuel pump on. Instruments are set. Compass DJ, you just set that one. Switches are on. Harnesses are our good water rudder is up. Speed's good flap. Identify flap down. Aiming to touch down just past that little outcrop there. Yeah, probably even a bit further yeah, than that, I reckon. Yeah. You've got a good go around option um, to yeah. the right of the beach anyway, so kind of in, in the middle of that, I reckon, somewhere. Yep, all right. Okay, finals, pitch, identify. Pitch is fine, undercarriage is verified up for water landing. Full flap and a rudder confirmed stowed. Yep, and we can turn right if we need to. So this is the bring it down and settle yep. thing. Did feel a little bit high. Push the, push the nose forward. Yep. A bit rougher. All right, so yeah, just, well, there's a few, as I mentioned before, a little bit sloppier water here, um, and that's just gonna induce a porpoise a little bit. So with that one, you kind of, first touchdown was was fine but it just bounces a little bit yeah. so instead of trying to flare catch it you probably should have just caught it with a bit of power bit to of power. keep the attitude set and then as we because we flare caught it and we're now touching down in that high nose attitude the plane just wanted to skip on us yeah. and as soon as you push that nose back down to that kind of wheel of position it was just sitting there nice yeah. and stable yeah all right all right so uh after landings uh got the water rise down we can turn that fuel pump off and uh our 3H checklist, so what was that again? Uh, headsets, harnesses and um, hatches. Roger, so let's do that. So which beach are we going for, over there? Yeah, just right on the, right on the tip basically. Okay. So we'll get, we'll get your hatch over, so if we lift that, lift your hand up and push it over on mine, Push, keep pushing it. So we want to kind of approach with a bit of a go around option, I guess. So if we're coming too hard, we can kind of just continue around. We don't want to go square onto it. So you can kind of go in a little bit close, maybe to that shed and then go on at a 45. Yeah, okay. And if you are too, too fast after you've shut down, you can then just readjust, if you know what I mean. Yeah, same thing, bring it in nice and slow. Uh, set everything up in the cockpit for uh, the shutdown, so you can turn the comm off. Um, everything else is pretty much sorted. Yeah. Um, so 
when we shut down, it's just going to be. So we're not putting wheels off. down or anything? No, no, no. Yeah. no. And water runner need to come up or it can stay down? At, uh, at the end, basically, once we hit the sand. So come onto those birds now. We're going to aim to the back to the right of those birds. And then whenever you think we can glide in, which is probably about an hour, we can go mixture a little cut off. And mags and master off. Coming nice and soft here, so it's looking good. Oh, isn't that the coolest thing? <laughs> <laughs> Magic! Alright, jump on out. Let's get pour the champagne. Right, Trent, here we are at uh, one of the beautiful beaches in Viner Harbour at the top end here. How All good right. is it? Just, just watch your back, okay? Uh, <laughs> um, first beaching, how was that? Um, yeah, great. No, look, fantastic. It just, just totally yeah, different, it's so hey? surreal. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've done it in a boat, but this yeah. is still just <laughs> the fact it's an aeroplane. It's totally different. Yeah, yeah it's exactly, awesome. Yeah. And um, what a spot. What are the kind of things you're finding are so different about flying uh, a seaplane or a flying boat that the, that you normally come across in the normal flight training you do? Um, oh, well, the, the obvious thing, obviously, the water. Yeah. Um, I guess um, I've got a lot of tail experience, so I've found I've really drawn on that. Yep. Um, very similar techniques and concepts there. Um, the, the engine being up top is obviously probably the biggest difference. Yep. Um, just those pitch moments and everything uh, is is yeah quite different. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's gelled. That's okay, I think. And yep. um, yeah, so I've, I've been pretty lucky. Had some nice smooth landings. Um, that one was probably one of the choppier ones. So yep. then just got that porpoise and just get the thought process onto how yeah. to. I mean, obviously I knew it was doing it, but just which way to react, I'm still a bit like, is that the right thing to do or not? Yeah. So yeah, that'll come. And, um, but yeah, no, it's just been fantastic, so. Good stuff. So we're gonna keep consolidating more water work now. We may look at, start looking at a few kind of abnormalities, I guess. Uh, and then we're gonna head across to Manton Dam for a, a freshwater uh, approach into a kind of lake area. Yeah, and cool. we'll throw the anchor. We'll sit up on the top, we might have a, Coffee or a scone or something? I think you brought a few treats, didn't you, mate? Yeah. Oh, I've got a bit of banana bread, yeah. <laughs> a bit of banana bread, yeah. <laughs> Sit up on the wing, we'll enjoy the view and uh, continue on. Brilliant. Good Let's to go. It. Let's go. Bye, mate. It is, I. All right, Trent, we're going to look at some step taxiing now. So um, I want you just to set us up for a normal landing and we'll pull the power back, uh, settle on the step at around 30 knots, and then we'll start looking at a few turns and um, have a bit of fun step taxiing. Beautiful water down below us here, so we can. Uh, All right. Just some nice tight turns and we might even look at doing a 360 turn depending on uh, how you're going. That sounds good. Okay, pitch is fine, undercarriage is up, indicated, all flap is set, indicated, water rudder is stowed. A week from before. Yep. Though. 30 knots, now coming on. Alright, just keep us on this heading for a moment, get your self feeling comfortable with um, being on the step. We're going to do some turns here. During the turn, we're going to increase our water drag, so we need to just slightly add a little bit of power. Okay. And then once you come out of that turn and straighten the aircraft up, you want to pull that power back slightly, otherwise we'll start accelerating pretty quickly. 
Right. But when you're ready, let's do a turn with 30, 45 degrees, somewhere like that around to the right. All right, all clear. Wings level, feel that skid. Nice, good power, yep. Nice one, hold that heading there. Beautiful. Speed up a bit. We see the nose slowly doing the the, the pitch changes there, just a touch of um, back elevator there. Fix that. All right, left turn now. Nice one. Try not to initiate it too aggressively at the start, but like start it, start it, and then increase the turns rather than just kicking it. Okay. Kick it in. When you're ready, you can go to the right. Attitude's really good. Wings are level. Yep. Nice one. Power. You can feel us falling off a step a little bit there. Right, this one we're going to do a full 360. Okay, so I want you to get over as, uh, you know, to the right as much as possible. We do have a lot of room in this bay, this river, but stay over to the, uh, start it on the right hand side there. Might be a few wakes there that just bouncing us around. Right, when you're ready, it doesn't have to be too tight, but let's just do a full 360 degree turn around. Okay. Falling off a step a bit here, so power on. Left wing's a bit low. That's good. We're gonna hit our boat wake in a minute. Yeah, got it. Keep that nose forward. Keep that nose forward, push that nose down. Alright. Straighten it out there. This is our wank, so just power back on, get that attitude set. Yep, and then just power back, just back into the step. When you start falling off the step, as the nose rises up, the keel starts to take over, especially aft, down the tail there, and the plane then wants to shoot straight, so you've got to push that nose down to be able to keep the turn coming around. Yeah, okay. Alright, good job. Let's take off and we'll uh, head on and do some more water work. Alright. There. Bench pressure's airspeed. So we're coming to Bant Dam now. I just want you to do a, uh, a normal approach into Mount Dam full stop and we'll uh, get out and have a look at some anchoring. Alright. Sounds good. Alright, so we're turning downwind. Brakes off undercarriage. We're going to do a water landing. Undercarriage is up, indicating up blue. Mirror is clear and no external checks. Mixture. Is rich fuel is on sufficient? Fuel pump is on. Instruments are set, switches are set, harnesses are secure, and water rudder is stowed. Clear right, clear centre, clear left. Just gives a bit more space. I can orientate myself. P 
pictures find undercarriages are full flap, rudder stowed. Just take us out into the middle a bit more, away from the ridges. Rudder down, fuel pump off. All right, so we're going to do an anchoring. What is the uh, little checklist that we kind of need to do before we... Uh, so we want hatches, harnesses and headsets off. Very good, let's do that. Right, got a fair bit of space here, so I reckon we'll just shut down here whenever, whenever you're ready. Just pull the mixture. Yeah. Off. Off. Cool. Alright, the plane should naturally weathercock in the wind, as it's doing now. Yep. So we'll start to access our anchor. So try and get all your anchor and all your chain kind of in a bit of a group here in front of you before you launch it out. <laughs> I don't know, hazards. <laughs> We've kind of come to a stop here, so whenever you're ready, you can probably just um, yeah. So you basically just want to launch the whole thing yeah, away so from the aircraft. Don't hit the side. Yep, yeah. and keep the kind of rope handy, and then once we kind of as it's falling, just tug on the rope a bit, yep. and it'll lay the anchor out a bit better for you. Sure. So whenever you're ready, you can do that. A bit deeper than you think, isn't it? That's looking pretty good. Awesome. Yeah, first time throwing an anchor out of a cockpit, mate. Done. <laughs> You've always wanted to tick that one off, did you? Awesome. <laughs> well, mate, we're here at Manton Dam. You've got your banana bread snack. So good. Beautiful day out here for some seaplane flying. All right, mate, we're back on uh, dry land after a pretty solid session today, mate, was, hey? Yeah, I'm, I'm knackered. That yeah. was awesome. I think about 28 water landings. Uh, we covered off the glassy stuff. We did a beaching, anchoring. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then got to really consolidate on the water work. How did you feel with the lesson today? Oh, I'm glad I brought the banana, a banana bread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Needed that top up. Yeah. No, look, it's fantastic. It's, it's starting to fall into place. And yeah, um, yeah I can't wait for the next lesson. So. Exactly, yeah. Happy Can't days. wait, yeah. yeah. Awesome, Until mate. next time, Mike. Well done. Another good solid lesson. And uh, thanks for sharing your journey so far on the Floating Hell endorsement. No and, worries. Uh, look forward to uh, yeah, taking you out again. All right. See you soon.